So this is going to be a makeup tutorial. This was a look I had on in my day to foundation highlighting video. I will list that in the description box. And a lot of you wanted to see the eye look. So I recreated it for you. My bob. Yeah, I haven't worn it out of the house yet. I'm still not brave enough. It's kind of, it's, it was a lot brighter than it is right now. I think because it's semi-permanent, it just kind of fades. So I've had it for a week now. But anyway, if you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. So first off I'm using my MAC concealer to prime my eyes and this is also going to help to kind of reduce the creasing on my lids. And then taking MAC Arena for my brow bone highlight, I'm going to apply this to under my brow bone. Then for my transition colour I'm using Max Red Brick and the Shumura eyeshadow and I think it's called Vivid Red and I'm going to blend them together and use it as my transition shade. Then for my crease colour I'm using the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette, the dark brown shade and I'm just applying that to my crease line. Blend, blend, blend. And more blending. Blending it into that transition colour. And then using this NYX blush. And this is in the shade, um, oh yeah, it's called Mocha. Um, I just showed you. And I'm applying this all over my lid. And this is also going to help with like trying to stop my lids from creasing. Especially for those who have hooded lids. I do want to make a video on how to apply eyeshadows for hooded lids. So look out for that. kind of gives the illusion of bigger lid space. Then I'm using the um, BH Cosmetics Wild Child Palette using that gold shade and applying that on top of that um, pink shade I just added. I'm just pressing it into the um, crease and then I'm just going to use a little bit of a black eyeshadow just to kind of intensify it a little bit more. And then I'm using MAC, um, what is this called? Woodwinged, MAC Woodwinged. I'm gonna use it as my inner teared up color. And then taking this um, pair of lashes, I think they're two lashes. These are the Ardell Wispies and the Red Cherry Wispies and I just put them together, stack them together and I'm using that as my lashes. I'm taking the Inglot gel liner, I really like this gel liner, and I'm going to apply that to my top lash line. Using some liquid liner there as well. For my blush, I'm using the CoverGirl Bronzer in Ebony Bronze and Max Raisin. I like them both together, and I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks. So I skipped my um, highlighting and contouring and everything because I literally just did that in my updated foundation video. So I will link that in the description box, but don't worry, my next tutorial, I will do a full tutorial. For my highlights, I'm using the Bobbi Brown um, Highlighting Powder in Bronze Glow. I'm going to highlight my cheeks. Highlight the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow as well. For my bottom lashes, I'm using the House of Lashes Precious, something they call Precious, and I'm just applying that under my eyes. I didn't use bottom lashes when I initially did this look, but I felt like it was a lot more, it made it look a lot, a lot nicer and more intense, so I applied them. For my lips, I'm lining the outer corner with Max Night Moth, really gently, just the outer corner. I've been doing this combination quite a lot recently. And then I'm gonna fill it in with NYX's Coffee Lip Pencil. And 
And then on top of that, I added this uh, LA Girl eyeliner pencil. I think it's called True Red. Just really lightly all over my lips as well. You could just go for like a rosy, mauve pink lipstick, but I don't have that shade, so I came up with this one. So this is the finished look. I really hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.